Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to change the program we wrote in the previous video from creating a, four, a 3D array into creating a 4D array. So this is the array that we created, this was the 3D array that we created in the previous program. What we are going to do now is create is put that in an index of another array. So that's the data that we had in the previous. This is our 3D array that we created. So this is the, what it looked like. Now we can have as many of these as we decide for our array to include. So in this in this case, we've only got two indexes for the fourth dimension, and it's called box counter. So this you can think of uh, the four dimensional array as an array of 3D, and each one is like a box. So this is a box of 3D array, another one, and so on, depending on the number that we decide. So I'm going to go ahead and um, start with that. So I'm just going to put this to the side so I can see the data. I'm going to add my four, fourth dimension and change the array reference to 4D. I would also need to, decide, um, to uh, create a variable that would hold the number of boxes that the user would have to decide. So enter number of boxes and that would be here. Then I'm going to add that as we create the array. So it is now um, number of boxes, how many how many boxes to contain our 3D array, a number of sides for 3D array, number of rows for 2D, a number of columns for 1D array. Okay, next I would need to have a for loop to loop through my new dimension. So I'm going to call this box counter as I named it here. And I would need this to stop until this is the number of boxes. Then what I would need to do is cut all of this and place it into here. I may need a message to let the user know which box they are putting values for. So box and I could say box counter. And then here I'm looping through the sides. I won't need that since I've got a print line there. And uh, that's going to change now to 4D and my new dimension, which is box counter. Okay, with printing the array, it's pretty much the same. We do need to have our fourth loop. Uh, I'm just going to copy that one since this doesn't need modification. And change my reference. To box counter. I would also need to let the user know as well that I'm having I'm displaying the details of this box using box counter instead. And um, okay, so that looks all right, and that looks all good to me. Um, okay, it looks pretty all right. Um, we have to run the program to make sure that it works as expected. So the number of boxes, I'm going to put two by number of sides, one, two, three, for each box. So three. Number of rows for each side would be four. So putting four. And number of columns for each row is three. So three. Now it's telling me uh, it's good to have some space there after this. That's something you we can do later. Enter the values. Now I'm not going to put the values in decimals. Uh, I'm just going to make up values for ease of testing since this is a large program. We are now entering data at box one of uh, sorry of box zero side one 
uh, or which is a second side and um, for row zero so I'm putting something equivalent to that so five 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 six 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 seven 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 eight 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 and now we are um, inside in the third side for row zero and nine 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 ten 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 Oh, that was supposed to be 11 and 12 12 12 we are now on this second box so we are creating a new three-dimensional array there for side 0 and row 0 so I'll just continue with my counting which may not be very useful at this point but then you can always change the data according to what your program needs to do so right now I am on the second side of the uh, 3D array that is part of the 4D array as well and 20, 20 so now we are here putting the, the last um, data for the last side so 21, 21, 21, 22, 22, 22, 23 it's quite confusing and we finished let's have a look so this is um, the first box so that's our fourth dimension and inside of that we have a three-dimensional array and this is the data that we entered for the second box and that's our 3d array and that's about it thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one